expand the given logarithmic expression below. How do we expand these expressions? All right, so notice that these are all um, in condensed form, so we are going to apply rules over logarithm. Let's answer each of these questions independently. Let us start with number one. Okay, so I'm looking at the operations that are involved inside a parentheses. So I'm focusing on the period. So period means multiplication. You do not see anything between 11 to the sixth power and three or cube root of five. So the, since there's nothing on there, you do not see a plus sign. You do not see a minus sign. So when there is no plus, no minus, the operation present is multiplication. It's an invisible one. So I'm placing a period to represent multiplication. So since multiplication is involved, trying to recall um, rules of logarithm, um, that would we call that multiplication product rule. Let's do a quick review about product rule. So if, for example, we are given with log of mn with base b, how do we expand this given expression? We are going to distribute log of base b to m and n, separate them with a plus sign. So let's try and do that. So that would be log of m with base b. Again, separate that with a plus sign, and then we say log of n with base b. Okay, so this is product rule, and this is what we are going to apply in this specific problem. Now let's do that. Okay, so we're going to write log of 12 with base 2. We're also going to distribute log of uh, with base 2 to that of 11. So plus sign log of 11 to the power 6 with base 2. And we're also going to distribute this to that of cube root of 5. Now, before we're going to continue, let's recall cube root of 5. How do we write cube root of 5 in exponential? Okay, so if you take focus on 5, you do not see any exponent, so even there is no exponent, there is an invisible one. Writing this as an exponential function um, expression, it would be 5 to the power 1 third. So instead of writing cube root of 5, we will say or write 5 to the uh, 1 third power. So let's use that, and we say plus log of five to the power one third with base two. Now, we have expressions here that are, um, has an exponent. So I am focusing on, um, I am focusing on the second, which is log of, uh, to the power of 11 to the power six with base two and log of five to the power one third with base two. So. With this two, we are going to apply another rule. And that rule is what we call the, prod, um, the power rule. Power rule. Okay, so in power rule, if we do a quick review, if we are given, for example, log of uh, x to the power r with base b, we are going to move r which is an exponent in the front of the word log. So this will turn out to be r times log of x with base b. So applying this rule in these two expressions, um, this would be, let's bring down the first uh, expressions we've got, expression we have, uh, log of 12 with base 2, the next one would be plus 6 log of 11 with base 2, and the next one would be plus um, one third 
of uh, log 5 with base 2. Now, um, this could be our final answer, but notice that we our coefficient for the last one is 1 third. It's a fraction. Usually, you will see this as the whole thing as a fraction. So another way of writing this is going to be log of 5 with base 2 all over 3. Well, everything else, we are going to drop it down. And here is how we expand number 1. All right, let's try this again. Let's take a look at problem number two. Okay, so um, trying to recall the information that we did earlier, I do not see any any operations here. So I would, um, I should know that the operation in between each variable is multiplication. There's some multiplication in between these. And then another thing that I needed to recall is um square root of x okay recall how we write square root of x in exponential so that would be uh, in a negative uh two i mean a two which is invisible index and then an invisible one as an exponent of x so square root of x is equivalent to x to the power one half so that is the exponential form of square root of x. Now let's distribute the log. So we will say log of y with base 5. And then the operation plus sign will say log of z to the third power with base 5. And then the last one plus um, log of x to the power one half with base five. Okay, so putting together what we just reviewed earlier, if we have an exponent, we are going to apply the power rule. So our final answers should be log of y with base five plus okay we have an exponent and that exponent is three we're gonna bring that before the word log so three log of z with base five and then there's a um, an exponent one half in the last expression so we will say log of x with base five and the denominator of the exponent is 2, so we're going to say all over 2 as, um, and make that as our final answer. All right. Let us now try and answer number 3. Okay, so number 3 is a little bit different with the first two problems. So I am looking at the operations that it's involved. So there is a division sign. So with division sign, that would mean quotient. So let's recall quotient rule. So what is the quotient rule? So quotient rule is when we are given, for example, log of m over n with base b. How do we expand this expression so we can expand this by using subtraction operation to separate them so we will say log of m with base b now here's the thing we said subtraction separates when we see the division so the um the number that goes next or the expression that goes next is going to be the denominator so log of n with base b. 
all right so this is the quotient rule let's apply this in this expression now do you remember that um, we are looking at two expressions here okay so uh, z and x for z and x if you focus on z and x there is no there is no operation between z and x so i would assume okay i should know that the operation in between them is multiplication and so with multiplication we are going to apply in between these two the product rule so there will be two rules that we are going to apply for this specific problem so let's try and answer this so we'll start with log of z and then we are going to separate this with a plus sign we say log of x to the power 6 and then now we are going to move on and focus on the denominator this time we are looking at we focus on denominator now denominator we are now going to apply the quotient rule we went over earlier so we will instead of addition we are now we are now going to use subtraction so subtract um log of y to the power two okay so we are going to apply one more rule because i am looking at the exponents there are exponents involved and these exponents are the six and the two so with the exponents we are applying the power rule power rule okay so um now let's write our final answer so log of z plus six log of x minus two log of y and there's our final answer okay well let's try and do this one more time trying to answer problem number four how about this all right so similar to that a problem number three we see division sign so we're going to apply the quotient rule all right so let's do it let's say log of u to the power of four minus minus log of w and then there's another one on the bottom at the denominator v to the power of two so i should say minus log of v to the second power so uh, since we have exponents, we are we need and we must finalize our answer applying power rule. So our final answer should be 4 log of u minus log of w minus 2 log of v. And we are done.